North Carolina has a long history of producing NFL-ready defensive linemen. Next in line for the Tar Heels is senior defensive end Kareem Martin. He's, he's the prototype. I mean, he's 6'6", uh, he's 255 pounds. Uh, he's, he's got great length. He can run. He can rush the passer. He can, uh, you know, he can be at the point uh, and take on blockers and, and stop the run. And so, uh, he, you know, Kareem, there really isn't a ceiling for what he does. I mean, it's all about, you know, how hard I play and, and how great I want to be. Hailing from the same hometown as former Tar Heel Kentuan Balmer, the Roanoke Rapids native saw his possible future at a young age. You no, know, definitely played an impact on me, you know, uh, especially at a, at a young age. You know, I'm in middle school when those guys, elementary when Kentuan, seeing those guys play and, uh, you know, just seeing that it's possible, you know, to make it out, you know, that I can become be that big time player like those guys where, you know, they set, you know, they set the standard for and, you know, I just uh, wanted to follow in those footsteps. Martin chose the Tar Heels over a host of other scholarship offers in large part because of the family feeling he got when visiting Chapel Hill. It was just like a family, you know, especially on the defensive line, you know, everybody took care of everybody, you know, everybody was so close and, you know, that's, that's what you want when you go to college, you know, because anything can happen and, you know, my career here, everything that could happen has happened. After playing as a true freshman due to the NCAA investigation, tragedy struck at home as Martin's father, Robert Powell, passed away due to complications from diabetes. When I came back to school, just the, you know, the support that I got from the coaching staff that was here and, uh, you know, my roommates, you know, Tim Darius and all those guys, you know, just the support that they gave me and, you know, they comforted me when I was down and things like that. And, you know, that was, that was the reason I came here. It was because of the family aspect, you know. It really showed right then, you know. I was at probably my lowest point, you know. I could have went either way, you know, after that I could have let it really affect me or I can, you know, use it as motivation and, you know, I can build upon it. And, you know, by having those guys here, you know, keeping me up and things like that, you know, I was able to build on it. And, you know, everything I do, you know, I do it for him and my family. On the field, Martin has adjusted to six different position coaches and also transitioned from a 4-3 to a 4-2-5 defense. That might have discouraged other players, but current defensive line coach Keith Gilmore says Martin is one of the best leaders on the team. I think he's a guy that does things the right way from, you know, he lives his life right, you know, from going to class and being on time and working hard in the weight room and all those sorts of things is what, you know, really being a leader is about. Ultimately, Martin is proud to play for his father and carry on North Carolina's defensive line tradition. It's D-line you and, uh, you know, just to be able to say, yeah, I'm one of those guys who goes to that school that's known for producing defensive linemen, you know, and contributing to the team, you know, it's just, it's just a great feeling.